the name logistic regression derives from the logit transformation which is used on uh, uh, in the background of the regression uh, how is it different from uh, ordinary least squares or uh, linear regression that we've covered in our previous chapters now in logistic regression the outcome or the bind the dependent variable is always a binary variable that is it can only take two categories or two states yes no on off one or zero an example would be let's say where a customer will pay or not pay or default on a loan for example the credit risk of a customer is considered a binary outcome variable when we go ahead and lend to a customer or a customer applies for a loan to a bank could be a home loan could be a personal loan the bank wants to predict whether the customer will be able to pay back on the loan or the customer will will default on the loan so that's an example where logistic regression can be used another example is uh, whether the customer will respond or ignore a marketing offer that uh, a company may make that's an example of a marketing response so in this case if the company can predict whether a customer will pay take up an offer or not that can determine whether the uh, the company will actually make an offer or spend money in mailing across an offer to that customer or not if you can already predict whether the customer can default or uh, will not take up the offer then you would not want to market to the customer that potential customer or give a loan to that applicant another example is whether the customer will churn out or stay loyal to your uh, service for example in telecom millions of customers uh, Uh, change their uh, telecom subscriber rate or telecom provider every month so if the telecom provider already comes to know or can predict that uh, so and so customer is likely to churn or or you know turn down my service they can actually go ahead and make some offers or try out some retention techniques on those customers so that uh, churn can be avoided so all of these cases require the organization to be able to predict or to be able to model a binary behavior and this is where logistic regression can come into place because logistic regression is a technique in which the binary dependent variable can be modeled for example in ordinary least squares regression uh, the dependent variable is a continuous regression a continuous value ranging from let's say minus infinity to plus infinity for example what's the price of a loan of a house how much can the customer pay or uh, what is the uh, the time taken uh, what's the average time taken to complete a particular task so those are those are all continuous outcomes where a ordinary least squares regression would be would be used but in these cases that we just discussed it's a binary dependent variable where uh, we are looking at only two particular states on off 1 0 yes or no in these cases a logistic regression makes more sense so how does logistic regression actually work in the background for example <clears throat> this is a very basic example where we are trying to predict uh, whether uh, uh, a student will pass or fail on an exam based on the number of hours studied for example uh, common sense tells us that if you do not study for an exam at all you are unlikely to pass and if you do study for an exam depending on how much you study for an exam you are likely to pass and uh, this particular behavior however does not follow a a linear trend first of all getting linear trends and probabilities is very difficult we are we are looking at the probability of uh, passing or failing now what you see over here is uh, let's say for example we are trying to predict the probability of uh, passing or failing if we do not study at all the probability of passing is very low it's never zero and as you continue studying more and more the probability of passing starts going up and up and up and beyond a certain number of hours it doesn't matter whether you study for 40 hours or you study for 100 or 200 hours for that exam you cannot overpass there are only two possible cases you will either pass or fail and the probability then starts to taper off so you get sort of asymptotic approaches on both both sides or trending towards zero probability and as the number of hours studied goes up it starts going up and then again an asymptote towards one so there's no guarantee that you will pass even after studying for 100 hours and there's no guarantee you will fail if you go and attend the exam without passing without doing any studying you could just mark off everything randomly as a's and you might still pass so there is always a non zero probability of passing 
with no studying and a and uh, there is never a full certainty of passing even after you study a lot and this particular behavior that this particular graph that you see of uh, the probability changing based on the values of x this is what we try to model in uh, in logistic regression as well so can we train a regression model on this relationship can i figure out uh, by depending on what's the uh, the the value of x sorry let's look at this so depending on what's the value of x if i study for 30 hours and i fit this model so this gives me that i have a 0.6 pro or the probability or 0.6 or 60 percent chance of passing this exam if i study for only 25 hours i have about 0.1 or 10 percent chance of passing the exam and similarly if i go ahead and study for 40 hours i have a virtually 100 percent chance or let's say not 100 percent 99.999 percent chance of uh, passing this exam and this behavior is what we're trying to uh, trying to model now this could be just one of the behaviors the other uh, variable could be number of uh, lectures attended for this class that could be another dimension i could use obviously if you start cutting too many lectures or you don't show up you're unlikely to pass that particular uh, subject similarly it could be other factors which can uh, which can uh, determine your probability of passing for example what's uh, how many marks did you get in your your previous uh, subjects uh, and so on so this is an example where we are only looking at number of hours studied on one side and whether the customer passed or failed or the student passed or failed and once we build this particular uh, relationship we can try and fit a, a regression equation on top of it so again a few uh, concepts of logistic regression we try to measure or model the probability of, of an event rather than the measure so the measure is always zero and one but the probabilities will always range from zero to one so minimum probability of any event is zero the max is one so we need to create the dependent variable as a probability range and this requires a transformation from the binary nominal variable in the regression so a logic transformation is required on the dependent variable hence the name logistic regression so the assumptions of OLS regression are still valid however deviations are tolerated to a large extent and in my end cases mostly require a rank order so what does a rank order mean uh, this is something that we will cover later on in our lectures so let's start looking at some basic mathematics uh, behind uh, logistic regression so in a logistic regression we actually go ahead and model the log of the odds of an event now what do we mean by odds and odd of odds means probability divided by 1 minus probability or probability is also equal to the odds or odds divided by 1 plus odds so let's say the probability of an event happening is uh, 0 0.5 so what do we say the odds of that event the odds of the event then become 0 0.5 divided by 1 minus 0 0.5 which essentially becomes a 1 by 1 or we say the odds of an event happening is 1 is to 1 so you may have heard this term odds in uh, terms of bookies when we say the, a particular match is happening and uh, uh, the odds of a country or a team winning the match is let's say 5 is to 4 what does this mean actually 5 is to 4 when we model it as a probability it simply says what's the odds divided by 1 plus odds or 5 by 4 divided by 1 plus 5 by 4 an easy way of saying is out of uh, out of 9 chances the probability of winning is 5 or the probability is uh, 5 by 9 and you can then uh, calculate uh, the probability as roughly about 60 percent or 0 0.6 or 9 6 uh, 50 so in fact in fact it's less than uh, uh, less than 60 percent is about 55 percent over here now this is what we mean by odds and we try to fit a regression equation which model the odds of a of a an event happening for in this example in logistic regression equation the the event that we or uh, the dependent variable that we are trying to model is the log of the odds and uh, the this is an equation that you've seen before so this is the the regression equation itself which is uh, beta naught plus beta 1 x1 plus beta 2 x2 and so on where uh, beta naught is the intercept beta 1 till beta n 
these are all the estimates against the variable and x1 x2 x3 can be your independent variable so this is similar to a regression equation however we know that probability is always restricted from 0 to 1 it cannot go less than 0 it cannot go higher than 1 but when we convert this into the log odds or the logit uh, what happens so for example what's the log of uh, when probability is equal to 0 what does the log odds become it becomes 0 over 1 mi minus 0 so we, that's what we have over here so log of 0 over 1 minus of 0 which becomes log of 0 which is basically equal to minus infinity and for example if uh, probability is 1 then this becomes log of 1 divided by 1 minus 1 which uh, which is again log of 1 divided by 0 which becomes positive infinity so in this case even if the probability is is fixed between 0 to 1 the log odd ranges from minus infinity to plus infinity so i've done a lot of red lining it becomes a little confusing to read over here so let's discard this uh, uh, let's sort of discard uh, all the annotation that we've done and let's go back so again uh, just a quick recap in logistic regression we are modeling the log of the odds or that's also known as the logit and uh, where the variables x1 x2 x3 are in a similar data set as you would expect in any uh, regression problem uh, the the probability is always ranging for or is always fixed between 0 to 1 however the log odds when we put in the same restrictions the log odds can range from minus infinity to plus infinity